guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing, showing, trying on the brand new Laura Mercier Translucent Powder Glow. Ooh. You guys have seen this all over the internet. It's basically a translucent powder, but it has a glow in it and you guys know I am just here for a glow I love a little glow so I really wanted to show you guys the new product I also wanted to show you a few new techniques on how to apply the powder because I don't want to say that I was doing it wrong before <laughs> but I feel like after seeing like so many makeup artists use the powder puff I'm like Okay, yeah, maybe maybe I was doing a little wrong. Hmm. So we all know about the world famous, the world renowned translucent powder. It comes in two shades, translucent, which is like everyone's favorite baking powder, and translucent medium deep. Right, y'all? Is this it? Yes, this is it right here. So the glow powder comes in the same shades. So there's a translucent with like a lighter pearl lessent type of glow, and then there's a medium deep with more of like a bronzy glow it's like it's like you, you gonna see okay so in this video I'm gonna show you how I like to use the translucent powder the translucent glow powder to give that season 12 beat that season 10 season 12 okay we're just gonna put the hair right here I feel like with this curly hair I can get away with like getting it a little messy getting makeup in it yeah, it should be fine. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Laura Mercier oil-free primer. Um, there's a hydrating primer too. I always use oil-free only because like I have combination skin. Pretty much if it says oil-free, I'm like, yes. Next, I'm gonna use the Ultra Longwear Foundation in Nutmeg. Wait, yes, 5C Nutmeg. I'm like, wait, let me, huh, hold up. Oh, it's just squirted a little bit. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna apply this all over the face. A little bit goes a long way with this foundation. Pretty it is. And I'm using the Laura Mercier foundation brush. You know what, I really like using this brush or powder too for like a pressed powder because it's like so flat, like look at it. Like you can just like The ultra longwear foundation is also buildable. So you can see I'm just kind of adding more in areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, I've been using the, I've been using this brush for so long as a foundation brush and it's like a cheek brush, but this is like the type of, well, this is the type of hair I like. This is like the type of brush I love to use for foundation, like liquid and powder. And the whole time I've been using this as a liquid foundation. I mean, there's like no rules with makeup. I kind of like just look at the brush and use it the way I want to use it, which I think we all should do. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Concealer in 4N. I'm just gonna apply this all over. I went to the dentist this morning, so I feel like, I feel like I'm talking a little funny, like he numbed me up, my face was all swollen, my tongue is all messed up. You guys know, that's just like what I'm dealing with at this moment right now. All right, I'm just, just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Blend, 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 blend it out. I'm like ready to get to the powder already so I can show you guys them all. You want your concealer to be like two shades lighter or three or oh, shades lighter than your um, foundation. And I kind of like it to have like the same undertone. So I don't usually use a concealer that's too pink because I feel like in photos it looks a little odd. I used to do that, okay, but not anymore. <laughs> All right, so this is 6W and I'm just gonna use this as a concealer. So the same, you know, Laura Mercier concealer. Did I just say I'm gonna use this as a concealer? Duh. I'm gonna use this as a contour. Get it together. See what I did there? Contour the lips a little bit, just underneath. Just a little bit. This is the same foundation brush. Well, it's actually a blush brush, but this is what I like to use. Also, when you apply your contour, make sure it's like a little bit higher than your cheek. So typically, like I would put it way down here. Bring it up a little bit higher. 
I'm just adding a little bit more nose contour because that nose contour was a struggle. I know you guys, my voice is like so hoarse. It's like freaking raspy AF right now. I'm gonna use the translucent medium deep to set my foundation and then I'm gonna bake with the regular translucent powder. What's going on with my hands here? So right now I'm just like setting the makeup. So again, this is the medium deep and I can use the translucent to set, you know, the whole, the whole thing, but medium deep is like, Perfect shade. All right, so next I'm gonna put a little bit of the powder, the translucent powder on the cap. And using my powder puff, I'm just gonna kind of dip it into the powder and bake under the eye. So I went to the Laura Mercier event in Hollywood and makeup by Mario was there doing a demo. And one thing I noticed was he would use a powder puff without like a ton of product. Like see how there's like all this product I'm baking with? It wasn't like that, it was just like a little bit and he would just kind of like blot to set the foundation, just like this. Actually gonna bake a little bit right there. But see how I'm just like, whatever's left over, I'm just kind of pressing and setting the makeup. I add just a little bit more, cause you know, I like to bake up in here. Well, now I like to bake. Remember guys, I never used to like to bake before. And then all of a sudden I'm like all into it. If you look at my last few videos, I've been baking like crazy. And it's really because of the powder puff. Like this thing is like freaking amazing. I'm pretty sure like any makeup artist looking at me right now will be like, little struggle bake, it's okay though. All right, so while we're baking, I'm gonna show you guys the new product, the new translucent glow. And I'm gonna use the new Laura Mercier. This is actually their glow brush. And you can see them all over. Where is it? You can see it's like almost shaped to fit your face. So I'm gonna dip a little bit, just like a tiny bit right there and then tap off the excess on the lid. See it here? Make sure to really like tap off the excess. And then I'm gonna start, look at no glow. And I'm just gonna apply it right there. Do you see it? See it? Just kind of like hugs, look at that, look at. I'm a look, look, look. Look at that glow, like look at that you guys. It's like the perfect like golden, it's such a pretty color. You could put a little bit right here. I'm just gonna wipe off the baking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this brush really just like hugs the cheekbone, the face, like look at it from the side. Like see how it just like fits right there. Look at how glowy it is. Sometimes, you know, I'm guilty of, I don't wanna say like overglowing, but I guess I do kind of overglow sometimes cause I just, I just love it so much. So this just gives like a softer look. <laughs> you know, a little softer. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the chin. Look at that. Like it's, it's just not too much. That's why I like it. A little bit on the nose here. Hmm. Love it. So I personally would recommend using the glow powder just in areas that you want to be highlighted. So this really isn't a powder that I would bake under the eyes with. It's more of like a highlighting setting powder. You feel me? Like more of like a highlighting. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, why don't I just use the translucent glow instead of the translucent? No. Okay. Cause you, you just want to be shiny in certain parts of your face. And those are the parts that like, the sun would naturally hit. So you like a little bit on the forehead, the nose, the chin, the cheeks. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and we'll be right back so we could talk about the brand new glow powder. All right, I'm back. So I finished my makeup, everything's set, everything's matte where it needs to be matte, glowy where it needs to be glowy. And I mean, it's bomb. Honestly, like the best thing I could have learned this year being a makeup artist, beauty blogger. Well, I don't, you know, I don't do makeup anymore on other people, but I do it on myself. Um, but like the best trick is using this powder puff. Like, look, I got two of them right here, okay? This thing is magical, okay? Um, I mean, just look at my face. Like, it just looks super like soft under my eyes. Um, I usually use this to bake, but I feel like going forward because I saw Makeup by Mario do it, I'm gonna use it to set my foundation also, but it just is like a little piece of heaven on your face, you know what I mean? Okay, so the regular translucent powder, you can use a brush or the powder puff to set your makeup. And then with the glow, you wanna use a brush. So like this is a Laura Mercier glow brush. Um, it just really gives you that soft glow. It is 
it's delightful. All right, so in a nutshell, because I know a lot of you guys are like, but wait, but wait. So the translucent, the original translucent is like a setting powder that you can also bake with. And then the translucent glow adds glow to the skin. So you don't necessarily want to bake with this. You just want to add that soft glow with it. Look at it. I feel like I look like I have celebrity makeup right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my review of the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder. I hope you learned a few tricks. I hope this, this little powder puff trick gives you life because it has given me season 10 beatdown reunion life. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. And last but not least, strut and slay.